Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to enable instant file initialization in SQL Server 2022. So previously we used to do the same time using local security policies, but SQL Server 2019 onwards, Microsoft has given the same option to change from SQL Server configuration wizard itself. Open SQL Server configuration manager with run as administrator privileges. Select the instance uh, either 2019 or 2022. Right now this video is limited to 2022 version and select that and double click on that. Here we will get to see that uh, SQL Server is running with Express 2022 uh, like now like nst answer nt service hyphen express uh 2022 dollar okay just remember that okay now uh, same time i will show you the local security policies uh come no local security policies user rights assignment uh perform value maintenance here previously i don't have any nt service sql server express 2022 right Okay, to keep that open uh, down, minimize and uh, go to advanced option here. Here you will be able to see the instance file initialization option. Select that option. Here you will see that same option. Uh, we call it as a grant perform value maintenance server while initialing the SQL server and the local security policies as well. Uh, okay, select that and proceed to yes. Now click apply. See here any changes will be saved however they will not take effect until the service is stopped and restarted click ok stop here you uh, restart the sql server make sure that you have discussed all these down for with your customer or client for your down uh, downtime yeah it is done uh, but let's see that user uh, it is there or not so open this window so but still not yet. the reason is you need to restart uh, reload it so file reload yeah it is reloaded uh, let's just again go to perform value management task click on that administrative privileges see uh, now NT service uh, that service account should be get added into this uh, like perform value maintenance task properties. So this is how we can confirm that other uh, instant file enable option was successfully enabled. Now you can also verify go to properties and advanced property. See it got uh, still it is yes. So this is how you can enable and can confirm uh, to the customer. Okay, and finally you can drop an email by saying this screenshot and that screenshot as well if you want and you can this screenshot is enough and you can drop an email to the client saying that you have enabled instant file initialization for the respective instance. I hope you may like this video. Thank you.